Let's take a closer look at these clone CHT nozzles. I print functional prints and only use PETG filament, so other filaments and uses might give you different results. Also use generic bimetal heat breaks, 0.8 millimeter nozzles, and I print using 0.8 millimeter wide lines with 0.4 millimeter layer heights. I print functional prints, not decorative prints, and I found that I really can't print PETG any faster with these nozzles than I could the stock nozzles. But I'm changing all of my enders over to them after using them on two of my printers for a week and the reason I'm changing over to them is because the filament flows more smoothly out of the nozzle. I can see it in my prints and as it comes out of the nozzle. PTG is a little tougher to print with than PLA is. It requires slower print speeds and creates a lot of pressure and doesn't flow quite as well. These nozzles may be able to help speed up printing with PLA and it wouldn't surprise me at all if they did because PLA flows better than PETG does. If you've used these nozzles with PLA, please let me know the differences you noticed in the comments below. My surface finish and layer lines are noticeably better looking with smoother flow and less artifacts on the print walls when using these clone CHT nozzles. I've not had any problems yet and I've put many hours on them so I decided to change all six of my Ender 3s over to these clones. They're slightly larger in diameter than a regular regular MK8 nozzle is and a little heavier but they are the same length. I suspect the added thermal mass of the larger diameter nozzle and the filament splitting insert has something to do with the quality differences I'm seeing in my prints. The differences are so subtle that they are hard to see on camera but I notice them in person. I run my print speed at 50 millimeters per second which is fairly fast for a PETG being pushed through a 0.8 millimeter nozzle and laying down 0.4 millimeter layers. These nozzles have had no problem keeping up with that pace. Now I'll show you how I replace my nozzles on an Ender 3. First I turn my printer on and set it to preheat the hot end for ABS. I have the normal print temperature settings that I use for PETG saved as my ABS preheat temperature since there is no preheat setting for PETG. Once it reaches temperature I pull my filament out of the hot end and remove the PTFE tube from the hot end. Now I run some cleaning filament through to get most of the PETG out of the hot end. I run enough through to push the PETG out and then I do the process a second time until the cleaning filament comes out clear. You'll need to remove the silicone sock from the heat block so you can access the nozzle and the heat block. And now I'll use some channel lock pliers to grip the heat block so it doesn't turn as I remove the nozzle. Here I'm using a nut driver to remove the nozzle. With the nozzle out, I use a paper towel to clean out the threaded hole in the heat block for the nozzle. I just get a new piece of paper towel each time and clean out the hole until my paper towel comes out clean. Now you can install your new nozzle finger tight and wait for the heat block to come back up to temperature again. Just as a side note, it's normal for the thermal runaway detection to be activated at some point during this process. If it does, I just restart the printer and bring it back up to temperature again. Once your new nozzle is heated up, you can tighten it down completely. I'm tightening the CHT clone nozzle using a 7mm wrench while holding the heat block with a pair of channel locks. The original MK8 nozzles are 6mm but the CHT nozzles are slightly larger in diameter. It's important not to use too much force when tightening your nozzles. Snug it up well but don't overdo it or you might break the nozzle or damage the heat block. After the nozzle is installed, be sure to re-level your print bed so that it is set at the proper height to work with the new nozzle. I hope you enjoyed the video and found something in it you might find useful and I'll talk to y'all later.